Citing Datasets in EndNote. There are two different ways you can cite datasets in EndNote. One is if you find the dataset in a database, um, there may, similar to what we found in databases like PubMed and Scopus and things like that, um, article type databases, they may have um, a link that you can use to send the citation uh, directly to EndNote. So um, here's an example. Um, here is the ICPSR database. And if I scroll to the bottom, I see that I can export the citation directly into EndNote. So if I click on this link, try it again okay so it goes to my downloads box um, just like it did in the other databases and if I click on this it comes directly it comes directly to EndNote so um, notice that this, so this is the uh, Arthur, and notice it's not formatting correctly. So to format it correctly, you click Edit, and whenever you have an, um, an organization that's the Arthur, um, especially um, that has like multiple um, pieces of information you need to put in, then you put double commas behind the word. So United States Department of Health and human services and instead of a period I'm going to remove that period and I'm going to put two commas and then I'm going to fix this um, because right now uh, let's see and prevention I believe it should format correctly now so I click save and if I go to summary no, wait, it still isn't formatting correctly, so I gotta fix it again. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Let's see. One comma. see if it's fixed now okay edit department of health and okay now it's formatted correctly so now I have my different levels of the organization and it's formatting correctly. Right, and it sent all the relevant pieces of information to EndNote. Okay. The other way of doing it is you would have to do it manually. So if you retrieve their, your data from NHANES directly or if you retrieve it from SEER directly, um, you would just put in the pertinent piece of information. So if you scroll to the bottom, sometimes they'll tell you, um, they'll give you an idea of a suggested citation. And this is just giving you the information that you need, like the Arthur. Well, uh, so this would be the Arthur here. Um, the date, um, this is the title. So you just look for little pieces of information. And of course, you need the link. So the link, you could click here to get a copy, you get the link. And um, then you would go to EndNote and you would have to manually add it. So you would click on References, New Reference, and then in this drop down menu, because this is very important, this determines what it's gonna look like, how is it gonna um, format in your in-text citation and your bibliography. So you would select, scroll down, we'll go to data set, and then you would put in investigators. For investigators, I've been putting in the Arthur, um, or the organization that it came from, and then you put in the year, or if you want to put in the full date there, um, you put in the title, and then you scroll down and put in the URL.
And then once you add that information in manually, um, you would click Save, you click File, Save, and then it would format.